Hey, what's up guys? So I picked up a couple of these things the other day. It's the Isheen VTX-03 FPV Mini Transmitter. All right, you guys may have heard of the TX-03, which is this one. You know, pretty good. A lot of people have this. I've used these on a couple of my birds. But uh, yeah, this is the VTX-03. No camera, like this one. This is an all-in-one. All right, let's take a look at this thing. All right. Comes in a package like this. Here's the, the manual. It goes over all the you know different functions and settings and all of that. And here is the transmitter itself. All right. Pretty much the same thing, except you have this adjustable whip antenna as opposed to the clover leaf antenna in this all-in-one here. So all the functions are pretty much the same. But the reason I got this is. I have my Bugs 3 Mini, and I had the, uh, what do you call it? Here it is. My, one of my favorite mini, you know, cameras on this thing. The, uh, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. But the thing is, it's only a 25 milliwatt, right? So, I mean, picture's great. Um, here's a camera, I took it apart. It's a 600 TVL. I mean, the camera is pretty good. Quality, hardly any breakup, but in terms of range, you're pretty limited. So I decided to throw one of these bad boys on there. So I ordered two. So this is the one that, you know, I didn't open. I didn't put on anything yet. So I added it to my Bugs 3 Mini right in there. So we'll go over that in a minute. All right. So it is power switchable. You're able to um, go between 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatts, and 200 milliwatts. So I'm definitely going to be able to do some long range FPV with this thing. Um, you know, you just use a 1S LiPo, you know, and you're ready to go. As long as you have a camera that's up to, uh, I think it's up to like five, five watts, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, the only thing is, is Okay, so here's where the, the battery would go. You connect your battery to that and you connect this to your camera. It won't be something like this, it'll be something like this. There's a whole bunch of cameras out there that's come with the camera by itself. So you would connect the three wires and you're good to go. This connector did not go in this transmitter here. It just didn't go in, so I had to cut that off. Where's the piece? This is it, so I cut it off and just ran the wire straight, there's three straight wires on the transmitter right there. All right, so I mean, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, I'll go through that in a sec. There's a switch right here that you're able to change the, the band, the power, and the channel. It's right here, so I'll, I'll give an example when I turn on the Bugs 3 Mini. So that's the only reason I got this, guys. I mean, everything was all good, but uh, range was an issue in terms of the FPV part of it. So, all right, let me turn this on and give you guys a little sample. All right, here we go. So I installed a power switch on the bottom of the Bugs 3 Mini right there to be able to switch the FPV camera I installed on and off and also replace the front headlight. So when the headlight's on, the camera's on. All right, so let me push the battery in. Okay, then I'll hit the switch. And there we go. We have a feed of 5.8 gigahertz signal. So here we go. So here is the transmitter, the VTX-03. Hope you guys can see that. I'll try to go as close as possible. I know it's kind of funny looking here. Okay, so it's flashing between. Okay, it's upside down. My bad, guys. All right, so one quick press. See, the problem is I already have this thing mounted, but there's a button right here. So one quick press will give you the channel, which is channel, it's coming in five, bam, what it will just change to channel five. A longer press from about three seconds will give you the band. Right now it's band A, and about a five second press would change the power output, all right? So right now, the three bars is 200 milliwatts. Hope you guys can see that. There we go. It's probably better for you guys. All right, and that's it. So hopefully this will give me 
longer range. I mean, it was decent before, but this should give me a lot longer range. And uh, yeah, the AKKA5 camera, you know, is a pretty good camera, 600 TVL. So yeah, I should be able to go way past, I don't know, I don't even wanna guess. I would guess 500 meters, but we'll see. And I did extend the antenna through the top of the canopy here. When I had the other antenna, I just left it on the inside. So I put a hole, extended it, so that should give me increased range also. All right, guys. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. I'm going to do like a, you know, a range test on this thing pretty soon. So, all right. See you guys on the next video. That's the VTX-03 with my Bugs 3 Mini. Later.